Hello everyone, welcome back to Layers of Fear. This is part 6, and we're continuing where we left off. One thing I'm going to do, I've already played this game from part 1 to part 5, uh, from beginning to where the beta or early access ends off. What I'm going to do is play from the beginning. I have no choice because my saves were deleted. Uh, I will be playing and showing off all the new stuff in between the early access. So say part 1 is here, part 5 is over here. I'm going to show you whatever new bits there are, and then continue this episode with brand new footage of what happens after the end of the early access. And by that point, I hope I'll give it a better score than IGN with a 5 point fucking 8. Fuck you, IGN. Let's get on with this. No, oh, but for real, IGN gave this game a 5.8. Whoever the bitch was that reviewed this game, like the Steam reviews right now, it's like overwhelmingly positive. I'm sure it'll maybe... Uh, get down to maybe very positive, but it'll still remain very good. But 5.8 out of 10? Holy shit, IGN being really stupid. Holy crap. Well, I was such a shitty piano player that the piano forfeited my ability to play it. It was just like, fuck off, stop touching me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I saw a fucking YouTuber who honestly played this game and got scared, or startled, or acted afraid, or scared, or whatever, after opening this and bottles coming down. Like, who honestly gets scared by opening a door and bottles coming out? This is not a jump scare. Bottles cannot jump scare you. There is no threat. What are you doing? It's just really weird to me to see another YouTuber play this and be like, Oh! Shit! Bottles! <laughs> I'm sorry for making fun of you, but I mean, I mean, come on, getting scared of over a bunch of fucking bottles, come on! Huh. Entering all these rooms seems to be definitely new, like this room is open, usually it was just get the key going downstairs to your painting room and go from there. But this, this is the room that the uh, early access ended in, but not at this point, this is still the beginning of the game, but this is the exact same room where it ends. Spooky. I guess along a lot of the uh, moments I'm going to be showing off the new stuff, or stuff I think is new, is uh, going to be jump scares, poss quite possibly, just like this one. Yeah, wait for it, wait for it! <sighs> oh god, not the grandmother! Spooky. Paintings are no threat. Fuck you, grandma. Yes, run in there, you little bitch! The mouse didn't want to put up with my antics, so it killed itself. Oh, another one! Oh! There's two rats! Let's do it again. Wait, I have to go over here? Then back over here? Maybe? Hmm. I'm hoping more rats run in that fireplace. I really do. Oh! Yay! Three rats! Screeching arsonists! Echoing screams! They stop at nothing! I don't... I... I... I won't go... What? I won't go down easy? Okay. The artist's impression. My impression of the rats that light themselves on fire and then start burning the house down because they run in the fire, catch on fire, and then run around crazy and burn everything. Because the rats... Oh! Four! They run out of this bucket, apparently. Weirdly enough. Hello. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Hmm. Well, this is new. The actual voice, I'm guessing, for the wife. I mean, there are two sides of the story, and it's us being a drunken... I don't know, antisocial mess of a person where, if I remember the story correctly, our wife was caught in a fire incident and she was just completely burned. She turned into Deadpool, basically. And as a result, us as the crazy one-legged or limped husband uh, just stopped loving her because she didn't look beautiful anymore. And from that neglect, there became a conflict and a distance where we didn't want to look at her because she wasn't beautiful anymore, the guy was being a douche, and it made her into a monster, made both people into monsters, really. But uh, there wasn't a voice for her before, so good that they finally found one. This room is actually completely new, too, so I will play it. 
and record it all without skippings. A lot of bottles, a lot of ingredients. At least it's not purely all booze. What I am trying to do also in this playthrough is looking and investigating everything. So that my first episode might be like an hour or two hours of recording because I'm looking for every note, every investable, investable, investigatable object, like everything I can look at, I will click. Because I'm sure there's achievements for that. There was no whole, there's no point in this room, really, though. Oh well. Minced mice starving me out. Chunky, crunchy, carcasses, constantly sick. Well, I mean, if you have that many rats in your house, then you have a really big problem. Oh, this is weird. What is this for? Oh! Pictures! Looks like I'm missing some pictures. I'm hoping I didn't literally miss them, and it's just they're scattered in different orders. Yeah. Interesting. These are definitely things I've found, I guess, are before shit went down. But a lot of this is empty. But I've been clicking everything, weirdly enough, so I don't know how I'm missing anything. Hopefully, it will get filled up by the time I finish this game. If not, then it means I missed a lot of shit. Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Oh, well this is new. There's a door to an attic, a double door which simply leads to books. And there's probably more books. Nope, just weirdly an in internal closet. And this is locked, so we're going upstairs. Brand new footage, oh my god. Wait, what? Interesting, the bonfire's going on without my uh, consent. I don't want to fall down in the fire or anything. Now that would be bad. There was a trap door situation where I did... Huh? Damn, okay, that isn't accessible. There was a situation where, of course, you fell... Oh. This probably added to book. I mean, it's as discreet as something like this that camouflages with the floor. This is important to stare at. It's probably a part of the achievements. Maybe not the story so much, but... In terms of a collectionist point of view, it's important. So I'm searching every nook and cranny for that reason. But that fire is irrelevant. This door is not. Oh, God. Babies. It's bleeding. Or inking. It's gross. It, it oozed all over the place. Maybe it turned from a kid to a squid. You're a, now, you're you're a squid now, you're a kid now. You're just ink now. I found a number, apparently. I'm not sure what this is for, but I think that's 314. I mean, it's it's written a little strange, but I'm assuming that's a 1. It's either a 1 or... It should just be a 1. But, yeah. The room exploded, I went backwards, and then this number appeared. So, maybe it'll be useful, like a phone number later on, or a combination to a lock. More to this, right here! Oh, shit. Um... Oh, there we go. Excellent. What's in here? A key. I'm not sure if the key is mandatory for the story and it's just an added puzzle to stall you from going ahead, or if this was actually completely... I see this painting so much in fucking horror games, it's not even funny. I saw that especially in horror, Hollow the last time, or Hollow Hills. There's one moldy banana. In here? No, maybe in this door. Oh, I can use the key in here. Me thinks it's going to be a special room. A special optional room. Let's try this. Let me... I gotta read this. 
Let's try this again, finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing, hey, I did that at the beginning of the game. Uh, I won't lie, it drives me insane to not have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well, but how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. God, please, not this again. Unfortunate. Well, that was... So, I got a key just for a room? For a note? I was expecting something more special. But I guess if you want to be a, co a completionist, you have to do a lot more puzzles or something. Or deviate off the path a little bit. But for a save combination puzzle to a door for a note, that's a little strange. Oh, okay. Oh, this shit? Didn't I, already, didn't I already go through this at one point where the picture kept on resizing itself? Like, I'll probably look at this and behind me... Oh. Oh yeah, that was a little peculiar. But oh, okay. I was expecting there to be... Ah, more rats. I'll look at you, then I look behind me. Nothing happens. Alright, so this is another new room, but a little strange. The wheelchair has melted. Uh, I'll avoid that room. I don't know which room to go in first. Like, there's... Ah, God damn it, there's a lot of rooms. Are they all leading the same one, though? It looks very similar, except in this one, the cabinet is closed. Hmm... Man, I'll go with this. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out which way to go first. Alright, I'm just going to pick away, I guess. Left. I don't know. Okay. So I'm... It's peculiar, but I mean, like, there, there was two paths. I hate multiple paths. Since of being a collectioner, it just... A collect, a collectionist. Like, it just means to me... What is right? What is the wrong way? What is the right way? Do I have to replay this game and go to the right or remember that I went to the left? Or do both ways lead? The door is open? But it's pitch dark, so I don't know if I should trust it. Oh! Uh-oh. Developer. The door opened, and it led to a pit of death. Oh? Uh -huh. Thank fucking god, it... it it checkpointed the exact same room. That door, well, of course, I'll fucking highlight it once fucking more. And I'll click this just in case it didn't autosave the progression of me clicking things. And then it gets thrown. Wait, the... Why... The... Well, that's weird. Then how come... When usually when you do experiments, you have to test the theory multiple times for it to uh, find out why something happened and if it's repeatable. That door didn't open. It, it just is closed. It's, it's how it should be, I guess. But why was it open the first time? Or it was even like broken off the hinges. Just weird. That's just weird. I don't know. Well, oh. Oh, hidden. Rodent seeds. Rotten soil, nothing else gross. I see the dirt move. Alright. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, he thinks it's a wrap, but it's just a really deformed turnip? I don't fucking know. You're seeing shit, buddy. Oh. Piano up. Piano, I'm sorry for playing you horribly, but you don't have to run away from me. I'm not a fucking monster. Jesus, you're hurting my feelings. Stop running from me. I just want to touch you. I don't want to play you, I swear. God, those big chains. I damaged the wood. I didn't think this piano was into BDSM, but okay. Not gonna let them in. Haunting... Mimics. Knock, knock, knock. Only clothes left behind. Okay, so literal rat man. Uh, okay. A little weird position to put it, but it's a good thing I search everything.
Hmm, another new room, apparently. I see there's a key over there, so I'm gonna have to push that ladder over. Such tiny little drawers, look at these. It, wait, ugh, so tiny. It's like precious little cupboards. It's so squeaky. Okay, ladder. I want... Oh, it's a physical pushing. Okay. Because if I wasn't... If I didn't see the key, yeah, the game would make me move on. But since I did see it... Aha! Boop. Thank you very much. I'm not sure where this key belongs, but it clearly doesn't belong in that door. So this is probably another optional secret. But since the game designed it so if you at least look below from above, you'd see the key. At least those that don't just play this game like it's Call of Duty. There we go. So here's another bonus. Hmm. A someone's head buried in a lot of pillows? I have no idea. But that was apparently all that it was for, for this room. Weird enough. All right. Now I'm going to have to stop the episode right here for the sole reason that it's taking way too long. I have an hour and 40 minutes of raw footage right now, and I'm going to have to cut this completely in half to make it so it's at least split 15 minutes, 60 minutes, something that's more sizable and appropriate. So I hope you've enjoyed the content of what I've been able to achieve so far in Layers of Fear. And so far I'm going to go and play as much as I can, get it done and released so you guys can enjoy it as fast as possible. So. I hope you've enjoyed so far what I've been playing with this, and if you have, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, <sighs> this reminds me a lot about PT. If you played PT, I mean, the next thing would be her popping up and strangling me out of nowhere. Which would only... Well, aren't you a smart rat? Oh god, attacked by books!